Hi everyone, it's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm here to introduce to you a new kit um, that I put together and it's perfect for your summer projects. And the kit uh, is called Under the Boardwalk. Now, typically when I create my kits, I'm gonna create a passport card for you and you can certainly do that. Uh, but I have a new design that I wanted to share with you today and this isn't my design, it's just a design that I found as I was looking for ideas for the kit. Um, and it was perfect for this uh, theme. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you my little brag book here that I created. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one together. So the brag book is just a regular, kind of like a journal. Um, and it has uh, one, two, three, three pages, and then it has the cover. Uh, but what's fun about it is they're vintage postcards and what I ended up doing is I put the book together and then I took pieces from my kit and I decorated it. So as you can see the outside is a postcard and it says boardwalk and then when you open it up it has some really fun uh, old pictures, place for journaling, um, and whatnot and the pages are pretty thick because you're gonna see when we actually put it together it's two postcards put together so when you actually have the finished little brag book um, it's it's pretty thick um, I just added some more old vintage pictures here uh, and when I printed out some of these ephemera pieces because I didn't want it to be too thick and too heavy I ended up just printing it out on regular uh, copy paper so that way it was a little bit thinner when I actually attached it to the postcard. And then I have some tickets here with a little food ticket here, like if you were over at the boardwalk riding on the rides, um, a little souvenir um, picture here that was maybe a postcard, I'm not really sure. Um, and then when you flip the page, another little souvenir sticker with the New Jersey Shore girl on it. Uh, and then just some more vintage pictures that I added to my little brag book. Um, and as you can see, I left room for journaling. So if you wanted to, you know, journal, um, or if you wanted to add your own picture, uh, maybe, you know, a, a child or a grandchild, you could certainly do that as well. Um, and then on the back page, uh, just some more uh, items from the kit that I glued down and then I finished it off here. So it's a real cute book. Um, you can embellish it as much as you want or as little as you want. Um, make it as a gift. Um, you could have easily created these into pockets if you you know, left it open rather than glue them together. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how I put this together and uh, share with you uh, a kit that I also included uh, in my normal passport kits. So when I was putting this together, like I said, I printed out the ephemera pieces and I glued them down, but I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great if I already had pieces that had the designs? So I went ahead and I added to the passport kit uh, some of these postcards so you can create your own little brag books. So, you know, you're gonna have two pieces here where you can choose it for your for your cover, um, if you wanted to have it saying the boardwalk or if you wanted to have it plain. And then you have a couple of choices for your, for your backing and your spine. And then you have your postcards. And I created eight. You can print these out as many times as you wanted. Um, and these are gonna be what's going to create your pages. And I tried to copy it as close to what I had. In some cases, I made it a little bit bigger, like for instance, on this page here, this is a little bit smaller, uh, but I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Um, so I was able to add it to the postcards and I sized up the postcards perfectly for you. So all you need to do is put together, uh, put them together and you'll create this fun little brag book. So let me go ahead and show you how I put it together. All right, so the first thing that I did is I cut out all of the postcards and I sized them exactly the same. So as long as you are careful with your cutting, 
all of your postcards should be the exact size that you need to put this together. And then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to cut some one inch strips uh, because this is gonna be what is your, your binding. And then um, you're gonna want to, you know, again, as long as you cut them uh, exactly as I size them, you should be fine. But if you are a little off, you know, you just wanna make sure that your binding strips are exactly the same size lengthwise for your postcards. So let me go ahead and trim these down really quick. And I'm just gonna put one of these together just to kind of give you the idea. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put the book together. Okay, so you're gonna to want to cut your strips, like I said, exactly the same length as your book. And then you're gonna to want to take your scoreboard and score right down the middle. So these are one inch strips. So you're gonna score at a half an inch. All right. And then you're gonna fold it in half. And then you're gonna use your bone folder just to make sure it's a nice crisp fold. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you're going to just do a slight trim. And this will help uh, so your your book won't be too bulky um, and your pages won't get caught all right so once you have your binding then you're going to need to figure out how you want your cards to be laid out so just for ease i'm going to go ahead and just follow this design here um, and my first page is the one with the label which is this one here and when you glue this down you're going to want to have your glue on on the back side not where the picture is so we'll use that one and we'll use this one here now you can use um double-sided tape you can use glue uh, whatever will work for you i like to use the three-in-one beacon uh, because it does give me some wiggle room um, and it just makes it easier for me all right so I'm going to go ahead and add my glue. And then I'm going to take my postcard and just line it up. And if you're, like I said, if you're careful with your cutting, this should line up perfectly for you. Now, one thing that you can also do, uh, which I didn't do, but we can still do it, is you may want to take some of your, you know, distress ink and edge up your, your edges just to make it look a little bit more distressed. Um, so if you're going to add this, probably want to do it before you start gluing. Um, it's not necessary, of course, but it just adds a little bit more interest. Um, and you can do that to all of your pages. So I went ahead and did it on that one. Let's go ahead and do this really quick. And it doesn't take a lot. Usually when I add my ink, I can get a few postcards inked up before I actually go in and get some more ink on my dauber. All right, so go ahead and we'll add this one here. And you're gonna wanna do this with all of your postcards. So I would recommend getting these all out of the way um, before you go on to the next step. And like I said, these should match up pretty close if you did a good job cutting. If you have to trim a little bit, uh, you can do that after the fact. But you wanna try to get these you know, lined up as, as best as you can. And then this will be your binding in the back. All right, so let me go. Okay, so I have everything glued together as you can see. Um, and it's probably a good idea once you get your cards glued is set it aside for a minute because this is a little booklet and you're going to be opening and closing it. So you want to make sure that it's, it's, it is adhered nice and nice and tight. And what I like to do also before I start putting it together is I just like to go ahead and, and help it along because it may be a little, a little tight. Uh, so just, 
you know, help it along with the bone folder. And I'll usually turn it both ways. Now, if you're a little lopsided, don't worry about that because we're gonna be able to fix that. Um, just, you want to just make sure that your book will open and close easily. So just, like I said, just get your bone folder and recrease it now that you have your pages together. All right, and then this last one as well. Now, if it is a little bit off, so when you fold it, if you see some of the pieces are a little bit longer than the others, you can always trim it. So, so don't worry about that too much. Just go ahead and get your book together, and then we can worry about uh, making sure it's aligned correctly after the fact. Okay, so this is how your book is going to be, and this is the first page, and your top, I don't know what my top is, is going to go here. So we're, we're going to do that last. So what you want to do is fold your first page in and then find your second page, which is these girls right here. And you're going to, you're going to glue this together along with this here. Now, before you start gluing, you're going to need to make a decision. If you want to turn these into pockets, so you want to punch a little thumbnail here. So if you wanted to turn this into a pocket, um, I like to create little thumbnails, or thumbnails, little thumb notches, I should say. Um, and then let's go ahead and give that a little bit of ink. And then when you glue it together, you don't want to glue the whole postcard, you just want to glue the edges, okay? So, and we're using the three in one beacon, which is very strong glue, so you don't need a lot of it. Okay. And then you're going to take your cards and put them together. Okay, so once you have the binding uh, glued and you've decided if you wanna create a pocket or just a page, you wanna make sure that your spine is lined up. Now, the way that I typically do this is I will just add my glue, and then once I get my page somewhat in place, because it is liquid glue, I can go ahead and adjust it to make sure my spine is uh, lined up correctly. And you may find that when you do line up your spine, uh, some of your pages may not be lined up um, in the edge, on the outside edge, but you can trim this after the fact. The most important thing is just to make sure that your spines are lined up. And you're gonna wanna do this with all of your pages. So you're gonna need to determine how many pages you want your brag book to have. Um, and then you just kinda continue the same process. Um, and as you can see, I'm just generously adding my glue and I just fold my pages together, line them up as best I can. And then I will turn it over and make sure that my uh, my spine is lined up. Um, because when you add your back binding, you're gonna wanna make sure your spine is lined up. Now what I did when I created my book is once I uh, glued my pages together, I would take those black binding clips and I would add them to the back spine just to help secure the spine. Uh, for the most part, your paper will stick real easily uh, to the other page, but you wanna make sure that that spine, which is getting thicker and thicker, adheres together. And um, what I did is every time I added another page or another section, I would bind it and then I would leave it uh, to dry for a couple of minutes. And then once you have all of your pages that you wanna add, 
what you should end up with is uh, when you close your book is your back should not have any design and your front shouldn't have any design. And that's where you're going to add your front and your back design. Uh, really what you're doing here is you're just creating the insert, the inside of your booklet, and then you're going to add your front cover and your back cover once your binding is uh, in place and dried securely. And then when you add your front and your back cover, it's just a matter of gluing your page to the top and the back. Uh, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. You're just going to add the page um, to cover the white spot. Now, when you go to add your binding, um, you're going to want to make sure that you score it. So depending on how many pages you've added, if you just work off of the kit, um, you're going to end up scoring a half an inch, a quarter of an inch, and then another half an inch and cut it there. So your binding should be about one and a quarter inches, if my math is correct, because that spine is only a quarter of an inch, but you want to have flaps that are about a half an inch, and that seemed to work. But certainly measure it if uh, you want to make sure that you're not covering that front picture, uh, because I did my best to make sure that I just covered the blue part of the cover uh, when I actually bound it. And then once I had my uh, binding, again, I added those black uh, binder clips to hold it in place. And I ended up leaving that probably for a few hours. I wanted to make sure that the uh, bind of the book, the back side of the book was very secure. So when I added that, I added, I think, three binding clips and I just let it sit for a couple hours just to make sure that it was nice and secure. Because remember, you're going to be opening this book um, regularly, you know, and you want to make sure that it is bound nice and tight. Now, one thing I will say is even though the kit that I provided, uh, the pages, the postcards are already decorated, you can certainly add some more of your own uh, ephemera pieces uh, if you'd like. Maybe you want to add some little pictures. Don't be afraid to um, put items over the pre-printed postcards. I mean, this is your brag book. Uh, you want to make it as, as uh, decorative or as simple as you like, but don't be afraid to cover some of the pictures that are already on the postcards. Um, and if you do decide to add more ephemera pieces, you may want to do that before you actually put the book together. Um, it's not necessarily, you, Sarah, you can actually do it after the fact, but you may find uh, having the pages decorated ahead of time might be a little easier. And then once you have your book bound, then at that point you can go ahead and trim up the edges or the bottoms um, as much as you need. So I hope that you've enjoyed my little brag book that I created. I know that this is uh, July and I started my Christmas in July season, but I wanted to go ahead and put together a quick video um, showcasing my new kit under the boardwalk. And hopefully you will uh, enjoy putting these brag books together as much as I have. Now, once you have the design down, you don't necessarily have to use the kit. You can certainly uh, create this little brag book in all sorts of themes. And that is going to be my question to you. So I am going to give away one of these books. So if you are interested in getting one of these books um, and being entered into the drawing, go ahead and leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you think of this uh, new kit. And if you would like to see other kits in different types of designs. And if so, what other themes would you be looking for? Um, so as always, I'll leave a list of all the products that I've used to create this cute little uh, brag book along with the links to the stores. This new kit is available now in my shop, so be sure to check out the links below. And if you've enjoyed my video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And again, if you're interested in uh, being entered into the drawing to win one of these little brag books, leave me a comment. Now, don't forget, um, I do have some other uh, videos linked below for my inspiration team using this kit. So they're going to be able to give you some more ideas on how you can utilize this kit. Now, like I said, I know this video wasn't Christmas theme, but the rest of the videos uh, for the rest of the month will definitely be Christmas theme videos uh, to showcase my Christmas in July series. So uh, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you've hit that little uh, bell above so that way you're notified when the next video comes on. Um, so hopefully you um, are thinking about Christmas and if you're not quite there yet, um, this is a nice little kit to get you started on some of your summer theme projects. 
All right, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you again in a few days for another Christmas video.